Hey guys, today I'm making a bacon and spinach quiche. Very minimal ingredients as always. And um, I'm going to make it in an almond crust. I do have a video for that. Um, or you can make it crustless. You don't need a crust at all, okay? Let's get started with the ingredients. In here I have five slices of bacon that are cooked and chopped, four eggs, a quarter cup of onions, this is half a cup of spinach. What you wanna do is cook it down in your bacon grease that you cooked your bacon in. So that's half a cup of spinach, one cup of half and half, one cup of cheese, any kind you want, and you want a quarter teaspoon of each of salt and pepper. The first step is to whisk your eggs, okay? All right, and then the next thing you wanna do, your second step, is to take your half and half and put it in your egg. And then you're gonna to wanna to whisk all that together. Once that's done, you can go ahead and add your onions and your salt and pepper and whisk this together. And then your last steps is to go ahead and fold in your bacon, your spinach, and your cheese. All right guys, here is your mixture. And I reserved a little bit of cheese just to put on top of the quiche. So you can do that as well if you'd like, or just mix it all in. And then once this is all thoroughly mixed, you're just gonna put it in your pie crust. If you are doing a crustless, make sure that you spray it down. Um, and that's about it. All right, guys. There it is. Be careful when you're putting it in because um, what I do is I pour the egg, you know, the egg mixture will come out first. But if you let all the ingredients plop in, it'll splatter. So I've learned that the hard way. So what I do is I let a little bit of egg mixture go in. Um, and then I take a spoon and put everything in you know nicely because if not it'll just splatter so um, you're gonna go ahead and cook this 350 degrees for about an hour okay <laughs> 